Big shed removal today, folks. This is a big one. All framed up too. Should be interesting. All right, folks, quick intro, because I forgot. Uh, but we are getting started on a fat old shed removal today. Thing's pretty large. Quoted are pretty decent, but I mean, I'm six foot tall and this thing's got shingles on the roof. It's pretty damn big, but we should be able to make some cash today. So let's get started on her. Roof's coming off first, because that's the biggest, gonna be the biggest part. So gonna work on the roof first and it does have shingles. On the roof, trying to bust it up from the inside with the sledgehammer by just taking it and smashing upwards. And it's like popping the nails on the seams. And now I'm just trying to hand with my part. Pretty hard actually. Well, not hard, just a little bit of wind taking. pretty full i'm gonna have to make a dump run i was hoping i'd get it all in one but this lumber takes up so much dang space so. all right trailer is pretty full back there that is like 90 percent of the stuff uh, i almost got an all-in-one load like so annoying I, I probably could make this like unnecessarily tall out of the trailer and it could probably get it all in one load especially if i threw like crap that was in that wheelbarrow on the side in the uh bed of the truck but then i would have had to find a spot for the dolly and the wheelbarrow it's just it was like right there so i'm like screw it i bid this job expecting it to be two trips to the dump so i might as well just make it two trips to the dump it's going good so far it took a little bit longer than i thought it would and then i was what i was hoping it would to take us i thought maybe it'd take us like two hours it took us about about three to now and i'm still gonna have to go back and load up less than half a trailer load of debris but i won't even bring that to the dump today because it's not worth driving all the way to the dump to empty out one fourth of a trailer load especially because tomorrow i know i have two jobs that are both just couches so i could fit both of those on top of the load that's left at that shed demo pretty solid uh if anyone's wondering i bid it at 875 but i think they're gonna throw some more stuff on so we might be closer to like 925 for the shed demo for three hours dump fees total will probably be like 75 bucks or less uh probably less honestly probably like 65 bucks and gas to the dump will probably be 30 bucks and then i'm gonna flip my dad some money i i bid it knowing that i wanted to pay him a decent amount uh i'm just i'm pretty much subbed him in on this project so i'm gonna pay him worth as well so he's happy i'm happy i'm still walking with well over 500 dollars profit it's gonna be a solid day let's go empty this load see what the dump fee is grab a polar pop on the way and uh, see what the expenses are looking like and everything see how much we're actually walking with now why in the shit did i not use the dump trailer today like this Dump receipt, folks. Holy cow, they must have a new tranny in here. Thank you. Did you hear that? Holy cow, look at that price on that one. Oh, gosh, almost took out the curb. Price is right between my fingers. Thirty-seven seventy-two. We're gonna get this whole shed banged out for less than a $50 dump fee. Now, can't complain about that. Good old Pinellas County landfill. Dirt cheap prices, look at this navy green dump. That thing's clean. The back two pickup, just some scraps, pretty much clean up, sweep up, maybe level out the ground a little bit so it looks presentable for uh, after picture. Cause you know, every job's content for marketing purposes, Google my business purposes, Facebook post, you know, the whole night. Then uh, we'll get paid. I might try to squeak them for like a lawnmower removal and a grill real quick, slap an extra 50 on there. Then check them out, see what our total is and our expenses are in the day and see how much profit we made on this big old shed removal. 
It'd be real nice if I got a phone call right now for like just an average job because I would round her day up to a grand. Who knows, it's only 12 o'clock. I'm sure I might get another job actually. I haven't even checked my Google Ads. I bet they haven't even spent any budget yet. But yeah, let's get back. All right, so this is all that's left. Just this plywood, wheelbarrow full of junk and just some scraps really. Oh yeah, and that thing. So just gotta clean up a little bit. Get all this junk in the trailer. Uh, sweep up and then we'll be ready to roll. That's a good size shed demo. All right, folks, that's everything. It's kind of just, you know, thrown in there. It looks like a lot, only because I didn't take the metal out yet from the last load. I'm gonna unload that when I get home. There's a decent amount of that. Then this should be less than half trailer load. We'll leave that in there for tomorrow because I got two couches in the morning and those will easily fit. And uh, yeah, that's it. So don't know the exact dump fees for this load, but realistically there's enough metal in here to definitely cover this dump fee. So we can round that to zero. That's a wrap everyone. Let's go add some numbers. All right, folks, let's talk some numbers. Nothing crazy today, but for one job and a shed demo that took, well, I guess if you count the trip to the dump and back, it took like five hours, but we got that thing to the ground and just ready to get loaded up in less than three hours. But for the sake of it, yes, I had to make two trips. If I literally had like a 12 to 15 cubic yard trailer, we easily could have got all that into one load. That's why I recommend a junk removal would be like probably the biggest 15 yards and the smallest like 12. I mean, 10 works and that's what I use for both my trailers. Well, the only reason I got a 10 cubic yard dump trailer, I'm already getting off topic here. Why am I talking about this? But for anyone wondering why I got a 10 cubic yard dump trailer, even though I think that's kind of small for junk removal, it's because it sells the best for dumpster rentals. Like 10 yards are great for residential and commercial. They're great for contractors. Like you can get a lot in there and you can charge 300 bucks rent them out. Easy peasy. Yeah, for my junk removal trailer, I really want to add another foot around the, someone's trying to dirt bike outside. I don't know if it's pops or the neighbors. But yeah, if I add another foot around the perimeter, I don't even think I said that right. If I add another foot around the uh, outside rail, top rail of my trailer, just to give it another foot height of that brush material, I, I think that would add like, like two or three cubic yards to the trailer, which would is a lot of space. Like if I had that for the shed demo, I could have got the whole thing in one load for sure. Besides point though, nine hundred dollars for the shed demo, and you're probably wondering how I got it up to from eight seventy five to nine hundred. It's because he added that lawn mower, which is free cash because that thing is completely metal like you could just dump those at the scrap yard so i pretty much just got an extra 25 dollars on the job so 900 dollars revenue first expense is 38 dollars in dump fees if you're curious what the second load cost it was three pieces of plywood and like a few other pieces of wood you saw it at the end of the video and some metal that was all under that and kind of made it like lifted it up and made it look like a lot it wasn't so there's at least a couple hundred pounds of metal in there and that'll pay for that load so i'm just gonna zero out that one so our total dump fees is 38 dollars. gas about 20 bucks ish i think i used like a little under quarter tank that day and then the big expense is what i paid pops pretty much subcontracted him out of the job because he's got way more experience with demoing bigger framed out structures like that so i was like screw it he, he would honestly work for free but i'm gonna pay him what he's worth what he usually makes so i paid him like 65 an hour and that king we worked for like three hours um so i just gave him 200 bucks i didn't wasn't like paying him 65 an hour like that's not what i told him his rate was gonna be but i just felt like that was fair he was there for like a little under three hours and he did like majority of the work to be honest so flipped him 200 bucks he was happy with that i was happy with that it made my life a lot less stressful if it was just me and some other random kid that has no idea how to use power tools and it was just me doing majority of the cuts and still doing a lot of the lifting because most of the pieces that we dragged to the trailer you needed two people to carry i would just way rather pay 200 bucks to so yeah total expenses subtracted from revenue brings us to a profit of $642 on the job. Not bad for technically a five hour job, even though if I had a bigger trailer, we could have got it done in like three and a half hours because the dumps like 30 minute drive from there, a little bit less, a little bit less probably. So yeah, not going to take up your guys' time. I know it wasn't a super interesting video, but I haven't uploaded in two weeks now. I need to feed the YouTube some sort of content. I know you guys like this kind of stuff and I haven't done a lot of shed demos on the channel. So I figured this is a decent size one, some decent profit. So why not make a YouTube video about it? But as always, if you enjoyed, uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you want to check out some of the stuff I use or you want to shoot me an email or follow the Instagram, all that's below in the description. That's all I got for this video and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.